Next, I'd like to welcome Margie Quinn, Assistant Special Agent in Charge in the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. And Margie will also be joining us this afternoon for the Just Response Congressional Briefing. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Shared Hope International is, has been such an inspiration for us in Tennessee. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity to join you here in Washington to call attention to the plight of children who are being victimized on the streets of America every day. I'm honored to be here representing the state of Tennessee, the volunteer state. In the fight against human trafficking in Tennessee, volunteerism is a partnership between state agencies and nonprofits. We see this volunteer spirit every day across our state on behalf of trafficking victims. In fact, a public-private partnership between the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation and the Tennessee Women's Fund Alliance used private funds to design a pro professional public awareness campaign in highway rest stops and welcome centers. That campaign reached across the state to millions of visitors and Tennesseans across the state. On the public side, the TBI launched its own public awareness campaign this summer called It Has to Stop with a website, a Facebook page, and a public service announcement. Four years ago, these motivated volunteers approached members of the Tennessee General Assembly to lobby for tougher laws to combat human sex trafficking. The partnerships between activists, legislators, and the TBI started Tennessee down the path to confront and eradicate modern day slavery. Fortunately, a trusty map had already been laid before us thanks to the inspired work done by Shared Hope as a part of its Protected Innocence Challenge. The Protected Innocence research and analysis revealed Tennessee law enforcement had an opportunity to join with other stakeholders to rescue victims. The crime of human trafficking knows no borders. The roadmap, the Protected Innocence Challenge, provided, created a framework that ensured no matter what state they lived in, children were safer. The effort and expertise offered by Shared Hope freed up states like Tennessee to work on a legislative ground game that would protect children. To achieve the necessary change, Tennessee's lawmakers and other key stakeholders relied upon TBI's groundbreaking human sex trafficking study. In partnership with Vanderbilt Center for Community Studies, the TBI released a report in May 2011 entitled Tennessee Human Sex Trafficking and Its Impact on Children and Youth. A follow-up report was completed this year called The Geography of Trafficking in Tennessee. The reports revealed an unexpected number of human trafficking cases across the state. Tennesseans were shocked to learn that children were being victimized by human trafficking in some of our most rural areas. TBI welcomed the strengthening of human trafficking laws and used the opportunity to offer free training to all first responders. The new state statutes are being used to find justice for human trafficking victims. With the stronger laws, law enforcement and state prosecutors can rely on state statutes to achieve tough sentencing in trafficking cases. A sex trafficking case in White County, Tennessee, population 19,000, is an excellent example of what occurs in a trafficking case when you have a combination of stronger laws and highly trained investigators. In August of 2012, the TBI assisted the White County Sheriff's Office with its first case of domestic minor human sex trafficking. On November 4, 2013, as the state was presenting testimony, Larry Douglas Clemens requested that his trial be halted and entered a guilty plea on all charges. His sentencing was a combination of consecutive and concurrent sentences to the 33 charges, which included trafficking for sexual servitude. Smith County, Tennessee Judge John Wooten imposed a maximum penalty on each offense, resulting in a prison sentence of 176 years. All 33 of the charges relate to a single minor female victim. Tennessee is, a, is proud to partner with Shared Hope to lead our country in the fight to protect children from commercial sex trafficking. TBI and our partners are well aware that some of our greatest challenges lay before us. We must create and implement a comprehensive training curriculum for police officers, social service professionals, and healthcare workers to identify the signs and signals of a sex trafficking victim. We need to develop treatment and service options that emphasize that the child victim needs help, not prosecution. 
and that people who buy and sell children online should bear the harshest condemnation of our laws. First and foremost, we must educate that a child victim of sex trafficking is not an offender. The alternative is that the system continues to fail victims, that they continue to go unrecognized, unidentified, and unrescued. This means we are failing our victims, and failure here is not an option. Thank you.